a skills you're about to see could possibly make you quack up. Other people may be crying foul, as it is now time to watch me suck at bowling. Welcome to the third week of February 2019th edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling, coming to you from Collins Bowlodrome in Bill Ricca, Massachusetts. It was a very rough start with only a 72 in game one. I've said 70. That's because I added it up wrong on the actual scorecard, but got it right in the video. But then we got a decent, and I mean decent, 90 for the second game. So are we starting to warm up, or is this just going to be the normal? Although 90s, I'm not complaining. So let's see what happens. But before we do that, two things. First off, the camera that I used for the bowler cam died on the second game, and we had to rely on the phone. So things are going to look weird, being that bowler cam is at 30 frames a second, and pin cam is at 60. And so who knows how the synchronization's going to go, if it's going to keep synced. Hopefully it does. I... Not looking forward to that challenge if that's not the case. And number two. Watch Me Suck at Bowling is proud to sponsor the hit candle pin TV show King of the Palace. Where you can see people that are actually good at this sport play the game. Just type in King of the Palace in the YouTube search bar and watch to your heart's content. If you like what you see and you want to subscribe to the show, go to youtube.com slash new palace lanes. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can see new videos when they come up. And now, time for some duck pin action. Frame one, blow one. Don't know how the video is going to look. It's off the phone since somehow the other camera died, even though I had it on a charger. As you can see, it's an omen. For those of you who like the pin setters, here is the, uh, what you might call it, clearing away the dead one. Sherman, that's what she is. And there you go. All three. I spun that one. That's an eight. And again, for those of you who like the Sherman pin setters, here it is setting a new rack. Nope, nope, it's a nine. So far, an okay start. Got an eight and one, nine and two, total of 17. Frame three, ball one. There we go. Frame four, ball one. Stink of the bonus balls. What will they add up to? Number 
No Stinko 2. So much for a double. The King Duck Pin remains. Ball three, fill of nine. Nine it shall be. Those two frames were pretty strong. We got a strike in three, and then we got a nine in four from the first ball, which makes the fill for the strike. We are now at a decent 45. Let's see if we can keep the momentum up. Frame five, ball one. two frames we had, but they're okay. A pair of eights in five and six. We're still at a decent score of 61. Hopefully things keep going the right way. Frame seven, ball one. Again, deja vu with another pair of eights in seven and eight. We are at 77. Not bad. Looks like it's going to be another good game. Once again, so long as at least maintain an eight. Frame nine, ball one. Three, 
bottom end of average again, although slightly higher, which I'm okay with. And the bowling guard's middle duck paw for the night. Once again, not a bad game. In fact, better than the 90 from last time. We got ourselves a 97, thanks to a spare and 9, and a 9 and 10. Unfortunately, ball 1 only netted the 1 fill, El Stinko living up to its name. So we came very close to dead middle of average ability, at least for casual players. The average is a little bit higher when you throw in the pros and the competitive leagues, but 97, not bad. We'll take it. That will conclude week three of four for the month of February 2019's edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling. From Collins Bowlerdrome in Bill Ricca, Massachusetts, this is Georgia551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.